should be a slap in the face for ICC. Because it goes I against don't... everything that they've signed up that, with you that and does the not mean, That does not mean that the ICC, us, will not do our duties in accordance with the legal mandate. It doesn't mean. It just means that they won't go along with it. it that's all. Well, as far as crimes... And they've already proved they won't go along. As far as crimes within the jurisdiction of the court are, are committed and we have jurisdiction, there will be no immuni immunity for whoever it may be. For whoever. This is, this is clear and this is what we will continue to do. This is our mandate. What others are doing, unfortunately, is not within my legal mandate or that of the court. So, but I also want to say something. Setting up a court to try these atrocity crimes is also not against ICC's uh, principles. In fact, ICC is a court of last resort. We will be encouraged by national jurisdictions taking up their responsibility to investigate and prosecute these crimes and also trying to set up other courts to deal with these crimes. This is why the ICC was set up, so that when these courts don't function, when we have jurisdiction, the ICC can step in as a court of last resort. All right. Madam Prosecutor, you come from the Gambia. You come from a country with one of the worst human rights records in Africa. You served a dictator with one of the worst human rights records in Africa. In September last year, Human Rights Watch reported that the Gambian population lives in a climate of fear in which government justice and accountability for abuses is utterly beyond reach. Why are you silent about the human rights abuses in your own country? Because it is not my duty or my responsibility or does not fall within my mandate, particularly as prosecutor of the ICC, to pronounce or to advise whether favorably or not any government, including my government, on political issues. And, and not to say where you see clear abuses of human it is, rights? It is, I have not done it for any other country. I will also not do it for my... You didn't mind wagging your finger at the Security Council and reminding them the of Security their Council, inaction. The Security we have a relationship in which they referred a situation to us. You didn't mind speaking and out over Burundi or Central African Republic? Because when I speak out, and I want this to be very clear, anywhere that I speak out and make a declaratory statement, I am urging people not to commit crimes that fall within the jurisdiction of the ICC. This is my responsibility. And, I and am not the Commissioner for Human and, Rights. And, and I'm a prosecutor. Yeah, and the and, Human Rights and Watch crimes, reported that crimes in Gambia included by state security forces and militias, arbitrary arrest and detention, torture, enforced disappearance and unlawful killing something which might fall within your remit to reasonably be expected to fall within your remit what would be so wrong in you warning them against doing that? Uh, because, what would as be I so said wrong? what's I the worst not, that could happen to you Madam as a prosecutor, it is not about myself, it is about my legal mandate but you have huge independence you're a prosecutor I, of I do. you can point the finger but it's you who are deciding not to say anything Tim, about this I am crimes. not going to make pronouncement on political issues that are happening in countries. This is not political. Not, this I, is abuse. This is violations yes, of you. This is killing is and it, torture. Is it crimes that fall within my jurisdiction? That is the question. These are crimes. This is, these are, but they have to fall within my jurisdiction. It should not be so difficult to understand that I am a prosecutor. And under the Rome Statute, my crimes are war crimes, genocide, and crimes against humanity. And you, you and, and those same. crimes, and those crimes, even where they occur, must satisfy the gravity threshold to warrant the intervention of the ICC. And you're famous ICC, for saying, and you're famous I, for saying, Madam Prosecutor, I like to see that the victims know that they have a voice, yes. but not in the Gambia. No, not, I, not I, in I, the I Gambia. Think this is they don't. unfair to say. It is unfair to say because, as I told you, I go after crimes that fall within my jurisdiction, not any crimes. Not all sorts of crimes. They have to be crimes that are within the jurisdiction of the ICC. And murder Otherwise, and torture doesn't fall be, within your, your remit. When we look at situations, when we decide to look into any situations where we feel that our crimes have been committed, there are several issues that we look at, including gravity, warranting the intervention of the ICC. I must not raise expectations so much that I am not able to to satisfy that. It's it's not possible. Madam My Prosecutor, committed. the helpless, the dispossessed, the abused die when 
people like you remain silent, don't they? You know this to be true. You, all around the world, people are dying because important people are staying silent. How can you stay silent when you know that human rights abuses are being committed and you have the chance to speak out? Because what's the worst that can happen to you my for court speaking is out? Not, my court is not a court of human rights. I must also remain independent. I must remain impartial. What do you want and to be what, known for? What, I, what do you want to be known for? Staying if silent I not talking out? I have been talking out where I can talk out. Where I cannot, I will not. And I will not be dragged into um, saying something which can jeopardize my independence in the future or my impartiality. That is why when these crimes have happened in a place where I do not have jurisdiction, I will not pronounce anything. I will not. Because it is not my jurisdiction. I do not have the legal mandate to do so. This is why I will remain silent. But where I have jurisdiction, and I say this without fear or favor, where I have jurisdiction and my legal, the legal requirements are met for me to intervene, I will not hesitate. I will not hesitate to intervene where the legal requirements within the rule statute that guides my action, where they are met, I will not hesitate. Fatou Bensouda, thanks very much for being on Public Thank you very much for having me.